welcome to my Cuddly Stitches Craft channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you an easy way how to crochet tiger ears. This technique is pretty simple and can be used to crochet pointy ears for any of your crochet animals. If you would like to crochet the tiger featured in this video, then you can find the link to the free pattern in the description below or on my blog. So this is what the ear looks like before you attach it to the head. It consists of two separate parts, the front of the ear which is white and the back which is orange. These two parts are then joined together to create the ear. I have already crocheted the front part, so we are now going to crochet the orange part together. You will use the same pattern for both parts and I have included a screenshot in this video. So we will start by creating a magic ring. If you are unsure how to do a magic ring, then you can watch my video tutorial that will show you step by step how to do that. I will also include the link in the description below. Ok, so now we need to do 6 single crochet stitches into the ring. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Ok, so let's pull the ring closed and that's the first round completed. Round 2 starts with a large increase in the first stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch and we will repeat this sequence 3 times. So large increase is 3 single crochets into the same stitch, so this one here. Okay, so uh, the first stitch is always a bit stiff. Alright, there we go. So that will be three single crochet stitches into this stitch. So that's one, two, and three. So that's the large increase completed. And then it's just single crochet in the next stitch. So that's one. So that's the first sequence completed. So now again a large increase in the next stitch. So that's three single crochet stitches into the same stitch. And then just one single crochet in the next one. Ok, so that's the second sequence completed, so large increase in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the last stitch of the round. Ok, so that's the second round completed. Let's just pull the tail to close the magic ring tight. Here we go. And we will start round 3 with single crochet in the next stitch. So that's single crochet in the next stitch, which is the first stitch. followed by a large increase in the next one. So there's three single crochets into the same stitch. Okay, single crochet in the next two stitches. So that's one and two, followed by 
increase in the next three stitches. So that's standard increase, which is two single crochet stitches into the same stitch. So let's do the first increase. That's one and two single crochets into the same stitch. Second increase. And now the third increase. Okay, now we will single crochet in the next two stitches. So that's one. And two. And now it's large increase in the next one, which is three single crochet stitches into the same stitch. And finally, single crochet in the next two stitches. So that's the last two stitches of the round. We have finished round three and we have one more round to do. So round four starts with single crochet in the next two stitches. So that's one single crochet and second single crochet, followed by a large increase. So again, three single crochet stitches into the same stitch. And now we will single crochet in the next four stitches. So that's one. two, three, and four. We will follow by doing increase in the next four stitches, that's standard increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch. So that's the first increase. Second increase. Third one. Oops. And the last increase. Okay, and now we will single crochet in the next four stitches. So that's one, two, two, three, and four, followed by a large increase. So three single crochet stitches into this one. And then finally, single crochet in the last three stitches of the round. Perfect, we have now finished the ear. So this is the bottom and this is the top of the ear. So we can now fasten off but I like to use the invisible fasten off method. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, cut the yarn, leaving a short tail. And then just pull the yarn out like this. Tighten the magic ring in the middle a bit more if necessary. And pull the stitch marker out. 
So this is the top and this is the bottom. And we are left with a visible step where we finished round four, but the invisible fast knob will get rid of that step for us. Okay, so thread your needle with the tail. And insert your needle into the second stitch of the round. So this one. So not this one, not the first one, but this one, the second one. So pull the needle through the whole stitch and pull a little and then put your needle through the middle of the last stitch of the round. So that's the stitch where your yarn is coming from. So this one. See the yarn coming from it? So pull the needle through the middle of it from the top. There we go. Then pull tight and you will see that we created a new stitch identical to the other stitches. And by doing so, we got rid of the step. Now we just need to weave the yarn tail in. So I like to go in through the stitch here. And then pull the yarn all the way to the middle. This will be hidden on the inside of the ear once we crochet the two parts together, so you don't have to worry if it doesn't look too neat. Then tie a double knot with the yarn tail coming out of the magic ring. And cut the yarn off. Okay, so here we are. Give the ear a little stretch and you will have a round top and a flat bottom with two corners. We have now completed both parts of the ear and now we need to join them together. So take the orange part and the white part and place them on top of each other with the wrong sides on the inside. So this is the back and this is the front of the ear. Now we are going to single crochet them together all the way around. Start by creating a slip knot on your hook. You may notice that uh, in my tiger pattern I am using a black yarn to join the ear but I will use orange yarn in this video so you can see the stitches better. Take the ear with the white part facing forward and turn it upside down. Insert your hook into one of the stitches in the middle, doesn't really matter which one, and into the corresponding stitch on the other part. So you will end up with two stitches on your hook and single crochet these together. Insert your hook into the next stitch and the corresponding stitch and single crochet them together again. And you will continue this way all the way around. So I will show you two more stitches and then I will fast forward to the end. Okay, so I have finished crocheting all the way around and this is what the ear looks like. Now we need to fasten off using the invisible fasten off method again. So first let's cut the yarn off leaving a short tail. 
and then pull it out like this. First we will weave in the starting tail, so thread your needle and go in through this stitch and pull it through. Okay, give it a little pull. And now we can do the invisible fasten off. So thread your needle with the second tail. And insert your needle into the second stitch. So not this one, not the first one, but the second one here. So pull the needle through the whole stitch, give it a little pull, and then insert your needle into the last stitch of the round, so into the middle of it from the top, and pull tight. So you have again created a stitch that connects the round together. And now we need to weave this yarn tail in, so go through a couple of stitches at the top here, And just make sure it looks fine on the other side too. Next pull your yarn through the inside and come out through the same stitch where the other tail is sticking out from. So this one here. Tie a double knot to secure both ends. And then pull the knot inside the ear while weaving the yarn ends in. So insert your needle into the same stitch, come out and pull tight until the knot disappears. And now you can cut the yarn off. If the tail is still sticking out a bit, just push it in with the needle. Perfect. Let's give the ear a little stretch and that's the tiger ear completed and ready to be attached to the head. This is the top and this is the bottom and this is what it looks like from the other side. Now if you were to crochet with the black yarn, then you would have a visible black hem on both sides. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive an update when I add a new video. Thank you for watching.